MERS is a disease caused by the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, or MERS-CoV as it is commonly referred to. Although the full name is quite long, it actually says a lot about the virus. Firstly, the disease was first reported from Saudi Arabia, a country in the Middle East, in 2012. It causes a respiratory syndrome, which means that it can cause a range of respiratory symptoms. Thirdly, it is a type of virus called a coronavirus. So what is a coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. They can cause a range of diseases in humans and animals, ranging from the common cold to diseases like SARS or MERS, which cause serious illness. The viruses are made up of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope, which has little protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. Crown in Latin is called corona, from which the viruses get their name. Let's have a look at MERS-CoV. Since its discovery in 2012, there have been about 1,180 cases and 483 deaths from MERS-CoV reported by the end of May 2015. All MERS cases have been linked to countries that are in or around the Middle East, either in those who have lived or traveled to those countries or those who have had close contact with someone who is sick with MERS. There was an outbreak of MERS-CoV in South Korea triggered by a traveler from the Middle East. The outbreak was associated with healthcare facilities and between May and July 2015, there were over 180 cases reported. No one is entirely sure where the virus comes from, but the likely source is camels. This is because evidence of MERS-CoV infection has been found in camels and also that some people with MERS have reported contact with camels before they got sick. The role of bats in MERS infections is still being investigated. The virus is passed from person to person where there is close contact, but is not thought to be highly infectious. Transmission of the virus has occurred among family members and in healthcare settings where it has spread to healthcare staff and other patients. It is likely to be passed from person to person through the air or through direct contact. Once the virus infects a person, it can take between 2 to 14 days for symptoms to start. What are the symptoms? Well, it could range from having no symptoms at all to having severe respiratory illness leading to death. Symptoms typically include a fever, cough, sore throat, muscle and joint pain, and shortness of breath. Other symptoms may include diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. People can get pneumonia, which can be quite severe. Those at the severe end of the disease usually require treatment in an intensive care unit. Although MERS can affect anyone, those who are at most risk of MERS are those who are older, have weakened immune systems, and those who have chronic diseases like diabetes, heart, and chronic lung disease. About 40% of people with MERS have died. So how can we tell whether someone has MERS or not? MERS is usually diagnosed by a test called PCR, or polymerase chain reaction, on respiratory samples like a throat swab or fluid from the lungs. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. Blood can also be tested to look for antibodies against the MERS virus. There is no specific medication for MERS. The main treatment for MERS is supportive care. There is no vaccine to protect against MERS. Travelers to MERS-affected countries with underlying chronic illnesses like diabetes, chronic lung disease, kidney failure, and immunosuppression are at a high risk of complications if they get MERS. Therefore, until more is known about how the virus is transmitted, it has been recommended that they should avoid close contact with camels and consuming raw camel products. To prevent spreading the infection, patients with MERS should be isolated appropriately and those caring for them should wear necessary personal protective equipment. More information on MERS-CoV can be found on the websites below.